Hi guys, so today's session is going to be a seated band workout, trying to hit as many muscle groups as we can whilst being in this seated position. But before we start the workout, let's all get warmed up. So our first warm up exercise is going to be some shoulder rotations. So just make sure your band is under tension, like so, and all we're going to do with nice postures, coming all the way back, trying to get the band to touch the back of your chair, and then back to its original position on the lap. That's one. Two, we're gonna do eight reps, so all the way back. Nice big chest. Good, three. When you get to this position here, squeeze those shoulder blades together. And back, four. Five. Six. Seven, one more rep. And eight, well done. And then stay in this position. Again, you kind of, you, you still want the, the band under tension. We're gonna come pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, then relax. One, eight reps, squeeze and hold. Two, three, four, Re squeeze those shoulder blades together. Five, arms straight. Six, seven, and eight. Good. And just keep the bands to one side. And then I'm just going to come move my chair. From here, you're going to reach nice and high, hand behind the ear, or as far back as you can. And then stretch to that. Come back down. Switch hands. Really try and reach, really get a good stretch in the lats. Good, two, three, four, five, six, two more, seven, last rep. And eight, good, give yourself a few deep breaths. Then when you can, grip hold of your band. Again, I'm just gonna make a bit of space and hit that radiator so just about here. Okay, under tension. Okay, nice and tall, come back. One. Two. Three, four, five, let's hit that wall, six, two more, seven, last one, and eight, good, and then I'll reverse flies, okay, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, and eight, good. And then just put the band to one side, and then reach high, come in, back down, reach high, come in, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good work. You guys can relax there. Um, unless there are some other warm up exercises you guys want to do. And if that is the case, just pause the video and do it now. But if not, let's make a start onto our circuit. So the way it's going to work today is we're going to do three different circuits. There's going to be four exercises per circuit, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest or transition. At the end of each circuit, we're going to have a 45 second rest. I'm going to do two rounds per circuit. So in total, six circuits. 
Okay guys, so let's make a start. But before we do, health and safety first. So just make sure your band is securely on a strong object before starting. Okay, and our first exercise is gonna be a chest press. So make sure your chair is directly in front of the band like so. Okay, and then in your seated position, we're gonna do a chest press. So just be mindful of your posture, shoulders back and down, nice strong core, elbows below the shoulders, and then from here you're gonna push up and away and then back down nice and slow. And we're gonna do that for 40 seconds before moving on to the next exercise. Okay guys, in position, let's get ready. We're gonna go in three, two, one, and time on. Okay, so bands, and then chest press. So come up and back. Because I'm going from a low position, I'm gonna push up to really maximize the chest press. So you want to follow the plane of motion of the band. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Right to the end. Always keep those cores strong. Nice, good work. Okay, next is a bicep curl. So from here, just make sure your band is under tension so you might to adjust your chair and come slightly more further forward if you need to and then from here you're going to come up squeeze down trying to make sure the band is under tension at all times so up and down so when you come down make sure the bicep is stretched out like so and squeeze the bicep as you come forward you might need a slight forward lean but again nice postures keep the core strong Nice hyperextended back. Nice big chest. Breathe out as you squeeze. Breathe in, breathe out. Right to the end. Good. Okay, so then again, always try and adjust the chair if you need to to get the right tension of the band. Elbows in, you're gonna come out, back in. Try and keep those elbows in. You wanna fully really straighten up the arms without moving the shoulders. Here we go. Out, back. Again, look at the back position. You don't want a rounded back. As I push, I'm pushing up, up and out. Try not to keep my Elbows from flaring out, I'm trying to keep them as far in as I can. Always control it as well. Nice controlled tempo. Almost there. Boom. The last one is chest fly. So arms out straight away from the body, you're gonna come in without punching the wall. <laughs> you come into the middle of the body, back down. Deep breaths. Here we go. From here, come in, squeeze, back. Always try to keep the, the band under tension. And try never allow it to relax. If you can help it, breathe in, breathe out. Keep going, not long. A few more seconds. Well done, good work guys. You've got 45 seconds. Oh. 45 seconds and then we're gonna do another round of what we've just done. Just be mindful in your recovery, nice postures nice deep breaths and the nose hold out the mouth just be wary sometimes you need to different exercises require different tension so you might need to be prepared 
to move your chair as we go. So if you do need to pause the video to adjust, that's fine. Okay. Uh, watch isn't working. Okay, now it is, I think. Okay, right, in position. <laughs> We're gonna go in three, two, one. Time on, chest press. Do it here, and then push out. Breathe in, breathe out. How's your postures? How's your breathing? Try and fully push out as you do the rep. Last few seconds. Boom. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna have to adjust my chair a bit further forwards. You want your arms behind your back and the, the band to be fully under tension. Coming in, coming back. Okay. Here we go. Bicep curls, come in, back. Feel that stretch, squeeze the bicep. Remember to get that squeeze on. The more mind muscle connection you have, the more you get out of it. So the more you focus on the squeeze, the more burn, the more progression you'll get. Right to the end, boom. Okay, triceps. Again, I'm just gonna bring the chair slightly back. Hands over the top, coming out and back. Make full advantage, take full advantage of the rest. Here we go, hands over the top, push out, really try and keep those elbows in and try not to move your shoulders. It's all through your triceps. Again, look at the back position. You don't want a rounded back ever on any of these exercises. Come on, keep going, don't rest. Not long. Boom, good. Last exercise is a chest fly. Now I've got to do this at a slight angle so I don't hit the wall, but arms straight. From here, you're gonna come in, squeeze the chest, back nice and slow. Here we go. Here, in, and then back. that breathing, always keep the band under tension. Halfway, come on, try not to stop. Strong core, never relax that stomach. Come on, not long, one more. Boom, okay. We've got 45 seconds, be mindful in that recovery, but also we want to swizzle the chair around so you're facing the band. Okay, okay so now we want to do exercises that work with the back of the body. So we're going to start with a face pull. So from here, making sure the band is under tension, come all the way up, squeeze the shoulder blades back nice and slow like so. Really try and make sure as you come back, you squeeze those shoulder blades together like so. Right, let's get ready. We're gonna go in three, two, one, and time on. So from here, coming up, squeeze the shoulder blades back nice and slow. See how the band always stays under tension? And then come a bit closer. Breathe in, breathe out. See how it's only really the forearm that's moving. 
as I come up and I squeeze the shoulder blades back nice and slow. Nice big chest. Keep going. Boom. Good. Our next exercise is rows. Again, just adjust the chair if you need to. Create more tension. From here, palms facing down. And you just can rotate, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then back, nice and slow. Okay, nice and tall. Row in, squeeze, back, nice and slow. Palms down and then twist, like so. Palms down, palms facing towards each other. How's your breathing? Keep it nice and controlled. Okay, nice. Okay, our, our next exercise is a fly, a reverse fly. So the way we're gonna do it is from here, straight arms, you can come back, hold, back nice and slow. Straight arms, come out, squeeze the shoulder blades together, back to its original position. Squeeze and back. Take the band as far back as you can with this one. A bit further forward. Breathe in, breathe out. Boom. Okay, last exercise in the circuit. From here, what we're gonna do is from this position, come up and down. Bit similar to the first exercise, but we're not gonna bring the elbows back. It's just in a fixed position, like so. From here, come up, down, up, down. So the elbows stay down. Really good one for the rotator cuff. Stay tall. Really good one for the rotator cuff, this one. Hand on the left. One more. Boom. Okay, quick rest. And back to the, the face pulls. So the face pulls, again, slight different. The, the rotator cuff rotations, the elbow stays fixed. The, the face pulls, the elbows come back, then up. So up and pull. Okay, take your time. And then we're straight onto those face pulls again. Be mindful in that, current, in that recovery to breathe in, hold, have enough. Always try and sit tall. Always be mindful of that posture. Here we go. Right, face pulls. We're gonna go in three, two, one, time on. So, in this position, you're gonna come up and out and then down. So elbows up, back, and then rotate. So up, rotate. One more, boom. Okay, we're just gonna move this slightly forwards. Okay, rows next. So make sure you've got enough tension underneath the band or on the band. Okay, 
nice and tall. Just wait for it. And from here, palms facing down, you're gonna come in, squeeze and hold, and back nice and slow. Just keep that going. As you pull back, really visualize those muscles in the middle of your back squeezing together. Really try and engage them. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, reverse flies. Can I see the slight angle so I don't hit the wall? Arms straight. Keep them straight, really, again, pull the shoulder blades together, squeeze and hold, and then back to the original position. All right, let's get ready. Back, squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold, and then come back. How's your breathing? How's your posture? <sighs> okay. Rotator cuff rotations next. So remember, nice fixed position with the elbow coming up and back. Okay. Hands up. Hands up, up and down. So the elbow stays fixed. Keep that head up if you can. Okay, so we've got 45 seconds there. Just really quickly, guys, what I want you to do is swizzle your chairs so you're side on to your band. And with the band, I want you to put one handle through the other, like so, until it's completely under tension, like so. And then from there, what we're gonna do is a reverse chop. So again, make sure your band is under tension. And from this position, you're gonna come from a low position all the way up over the head, like so, and back nice and slow. Really try to get a nice big rotation to really work your obliques. Okay, right, let's get ready. We're gonna go in three, two, one, time on. So here, reverse chops to come up, rotate, back down. Breathe in. Breathe out. From a low position, all the way up and back down. Keep the arms straight if you can. Breathe in. Really engage that core. It's really important to try and visualize the movement coming from your obliques. Okay, next. We're gonna do some reverse flies, single arm. The way we're gonna do it is just, again, from this position, so right hand goes across to your left side or vice versa, depending on the side you're on. From here, you're gonna come up and rotate, then come back. So from here, you're gonna come up and then out, and then back down, and up, and then rotate. Right, so be slow on the way down, and then from here, then come up, like so. So down, then up, and out. Down, then up, and out. Be 
control of this position because it does go slack down here, then under tension, then pull back. It's kind of three elements up, tension, back. We're going to stay on this side and do our reverse chop again. So from here, Get ready, nice and tall, nice big chest, head up. Okay, from here, you're gonna come up, rotate, back down. Really try and visualize using your core to pull yourself up as much as you can. Nice big rotation. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out with the effort. One more. Boom. Okay. Single arm reverse fly. So from low to high again. Make sure, again, it's going to be loose here. Then tension, then pull. Let's get ready. Loose, tense, pull. And all the way back down, tension, pull back. Tension, pull back. Breathe in, breathe out. Come on, as many as you can. Don't quit, right to the end. Boom. So what I want you to do is just maneuver your chair so you're facing in the opposite direction, like so. And that way we can work our opposite muscle groups. I'm just gonna quickly change the band so I can put it on something else so I can still face you guys. So really quickly. I'm going to tie this up and then we're going to go straight in. So exactly the same exercise. Oh, what have I done here? <laughs> Bear with me. I'll get there in the end. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, right. So we're going to go. So again, our reverse chop. So from here, coming, twisting, coming up. We're going to go in three two, one, time on. So from low to high, nice big rotation through the core. Stay nice and tall. So we still want to twist, but I don't want to round my back as I come down. I still want to keep the back nice and straight. Come nice big rotation. Get as much oblique movement as we can. One more. Boom. Okay, next one. Okay, single arm reverse fly. So from that loose position from here to tension to extend. A few deep breaths. Okay. So loose, tension, extend. How's the breathing? Breathe in, breathe out. So breathe in as it loosens, breathe out as you extend. Keep going right to the end. If you need to stop, that's fine, but don't completely quit. Cool, relax there. Don't completely quit. Have the mindset of, I'm gonna have two deep breaths and we get straight back in the game. 
Right, last two exercises. Stay tall, reverse flight, oh, sorry, reverse chop. Go from low to high. Nice bit of rotation. Come on, keep going. Last few exercises. Well done. 20 seconds. Be mindful of that recovery. And we're almost done. Just our single arm reverse flies to finish. Right. Stay tall. Strong core, belly buttons in, nice tight abs. Loose, tense, extend. Loose, tension, extend. We're trying to be in control of the movement. I don't particularly like doing this one too far, so I like to be feeling like I'm in control of the band. Right to the end, guys. And well done. Great work, guys. You can all relax there. Um, give yourself a few, few moments, a few deep breaths. Be mindful of that recovery, some nice postures. And then when we're ready, we'll stretch off. So bring one arm across, pull it in towards you, and then rotate the head over the shoulder. Stay tall. Again, be mindful of that recovery, as I said, a nice deep breaths at all times. Switch sides. Okay, and relax there. So we're going to try and decompress the spine next. So if you think if you're always in the seated position, majority of the day, then you're really going to encourage that rounded posture. So, we, it's, so when it's rounded, it's in a compressed state. So what we want to really try and do is decompress it. So the best way of doing that is just bring your hands, dig them into the base of the spine, open up the chest nice and big, really try and hyperextend that back. If you can't do that, then just do your fists, but do exactly the same, like so. Really try and open up that chest. few seconds and well done relax there okay and then come back around here okay so arm nice and high rotate in if you need to just use your other arm just to pull it like so just to increase the stretch try and keep the arm behind the ears if you can so as far back as you can okay and swap sides Few more seconds. Cool and relax. So there. Okay, last stretch. What I want you to do is bring your palm out like so, then bring the neck down. Then from here, you should feel the stretch in the upper tra trap and neck muscles. Then just with your hand, apply a bit of pressure and hold. If you're really tight, you might feel it across the bicep as well. and then switch sides. Cool, and well done. Great work today, guys. You can all relax there. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the session. And if you did, I really want to hear from you. So if you could, if you could leave me a quick comment below and maybe a thumbs up, that'd be really appreciated. 
Um, also, if you are looking to do more videos, then I'd really recommend subscribing. That way, every time I do a new video, it will pop straight into your inbox and you can do it whenever you please. Um, I would put a caveat on that. You, you've got to subscribe and also ring the bell, apparently. I only found that out the other day. So subscribe and ring the bell and then you'll get the notifications. Um, as I say, great work today, guys. And I hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs>